This episode of Storytellers is brought to you by these fine companies. Ricky, was there anybody crazy enough to run nitrous on these? <laughs> These cars, I mean, during that era that when y'all first started doing the Mountain Motor Pro Stock, was that? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest yeah, room. Right mm -hmm. Yeah, looking at it right now. For car, I had oh, say 440 inches, and I was tired of being beat. And so, uh, in 1973, and this is really good. Um, <coughs> Richard Petty and Maurice, they, they was at Daytona, and qualifying was a big thing. And Bill Jenkins built Donnie Allison the engine, which was die guard, and it sat on the pole at Daytona. And some way or another, Maurice and Bill Jenkins was talking, and Richard and uh, Bill told Maurice, said, well, all y'all can build is them old tractor motors. That's about what they run like down here. Tractor motors next to my motor. So I'll never forget this. When they got home from Daytona, this is in February, a little parts room there, Richard comes in, Maurice comes, they call her for me to come down there, and they asked me when was the next time I was going to run Bill Jenkins. And I had a deal in the latter part of March in Cecil County, Maryland, and we all know how good the air is up there then. And so they told me they would get me a half-inch crank, get a block together, short block, a set of heads, if I, and if I could find an intake and call in people that I knew out in California, Dave Brassel. And they plumbed me an intake with nitrous underneath it. <laughs> and you couldn't see it. And so we get up there to Cecil County that morning, and um, I was there about an hour before the race. And here comes Jenkins, about 10 minutes before the race. He unloads that car, and Larry Lombardo's driving for him. It was the Monza or the Vega, Vega. And so he revs that thing up. I thought he was going to sling the rods out the side of the motor. Oh, he's he shuts it off and comes on over there. And I'm sitting there with my car complete, ready to go. And I done warmed it up. Uh, I said, Grump, how fast are you going to go today? And everybody's all over the country running match races in. And, and you know, we're talking about uh, eight. 90s, 880s was fast. Well, if the air was going to be good, somebody was going to go into 70s, you understand? And so, and back then, 155 was just out of sight. He said, mm, I'm going to run 878 to 882. I said, Lord, God, how fast? He said, I'm going to run 100." 56, 57 mile an hour. I said, I'll never be able to keep up with you. Just be easy with me. He turns, walks on off. We go out there for the first round. We do our little rosin, putting it down, getting it on the track, and do that burnout and back up. And I had a switch on my second gear lever. You can remember about <laughs> yeah. that little switch. Anyway, Larry leaves, he's out there about a fender. I leave, here we go. I put that thing in second, flip that switch, and here I go. I was in the left lane, I'll never forget it. I get down there, I get the times. I'm coming up the return road, and everybody's going crazy. I pick my time slip up. I ran 8.58, no, 8. 49, excuse me, the first time, 849, 163 mile an hour. I come on back around behind the truck, shut it off. Here comes Jenkins' car in. I take the hood off, looked everything <laughs> over. Uh, Bill standing there, and he, I said, what did they do? I, he said, they went crazy. Look out here at them. 
And here's Jenkins ribbing that motor again. He comes over there about 10 minutes, looks down in there, looks around the engine compartment. He said, what do you got in that thing, Hill? I said, I got one of them old tractor motors Maurice put together for me, and you ought to see him. He dropped his head, turned around, and walked off.